Hi guys, welcome back, Agrarians guys, with me, Sid, and uh, I finished the building above me. Uh, so I just want to show you what I've been up to, and then we've got some questing to do. So, first off, um, this is pretty much full, I'm tesseracting out. This is draining at the moment, but that's because I have hooked up this igneous extruder to an um, aqueous accumulator, just so I've got... Basically, I can just run along here if I ever need any um, obsidian. It saves me repurposing machines. So this one, this tank's looking oh, it's pretty good. This one's completely full. The building is on the outside structurally completed. So let me just run out here and run around. It is mob safe <laughs> after that little exercise. So uh, yep, this is big bland cubic box but I wanted it to look kind of industrial so I hope that's the look we've got gone for obviously I can get through there so I probably in fact I may do that I may put like a solid block doorway around there oh sh shut up animals okay oh. I'm just as I'm going around, whenever I uh, my hunger bar gets in, I'm just like, Bunk. I'll have an orange, thank you very much, a mango, num num num. Right, so over here, um, the uh, fences have gone, and the lettuce farm has been expanded, because it was taking way too long. So now I've got four aqueous accumulators running four sprinklers on this lettuce, and there's this peculiar structure over here. Now, I don't know whether we'll... Yep, you can see down there, there's some red leaves being harvested. I'll go and show you that. That is not my design. I really should. Problem is with this spring... Is that going to... Do you know what? Oh, I'll stick some fences around it later. <laughs> uh, oh, wrong way. So, down here, what has changed? Well... Obviously all of that's put back. I'm still in the process of um, smelting these as and when the opportunity arrives. And down here, what I've done, so we're now at just over 2,000 lit uses. But over here you'll notice just bear with me a second, I've got my uh, my lovely stepson singing in the bathroom next door to me. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, maybe we're all right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've got a whole load of redstone, and you'll see this, this, which is a whole load of blood saplings. Now, what I did is I borrowed, this design's completely borrowed, by the way. So we've got a harvester here with some tainted soil in the ceiling. Um, you can see down there a blood tree, bloodwood tree being harvested. This one here is basically permanently chucking out bone meal. This one here is from thanks to this redneck controller, which is somewhere on the list. Has it lost its settings? You can always leave. Yeah, must, no, it must still have them because it it was still working. Anyway. That redneck controller basically is allowing it to plant a sapling every 20 seconds, which is roughly the length of time it takes to harvest that. So all I need to do to manage this is periodically come and fill it up with bone meal. And across here we're getting pretty much all the redstone we'll ever need, hopefully. Um, these are void upgraded. Uh, we can't see, but it has got the void upgrade on there. That one has got a... Uh, triple upgrade on it, I think it is, off the top of my head, 256 stacks, because I know we've got that one coming. So I built that off camera, if you want to see that one, it was, oh god, what was his name, Bebo, was it Bebo, Bebo LP, um, I will, I'll double check that, and I will, uh, think so, yeah, so that's where we are at, um, let me just eat some of this chicken jerky which we got courtesy of Ben <laughs> no only kidding Ben so that's working fine the old um, tree farm has been added to Tesseract and I put uh, the hardened energy cell in here 
so that is running fine had to upgrade that to a triple upgrade not so worried about the apples at this moment saplings are in some cases overflowing so obviously i can i could just grab those and you know i can fill it manually whenever i feel the need all right if we just look around the back the dirt is at seven stacks now but i did have to put a couple of stacks in there because it the dirt does expire um but that's all right because i can use sand as well Show you show so what's the plans for today well i have for starters built the fluid export bus and the fluid import bus i wanted to get let me just i was just seeing how far i was from tofu i wanted to get this one done um now i've done those but i need the fluid storage and in this crafting bench is everything we need to make that so we can jump that one up and oh now we need fluid crafting oh god three stage crafting liquid crafter and a cyclic assembler oh right we'll put those back for now uh, i'm not proposing to go building all of that stuff on camera because this is a major grind we have done all of this stuff for for the hoarding that was the one and this is now complete so we can claim that and I mainly wanted to do that to unlock these so we could see so I need a hundred thousand oak wood now I can do that pretty easily my tree farm will do that over time um, a thousand pistons well that's fairly easy I've got the resources I think um, double compressed sand I know there is one which is fairly ludicrous. That's pretty bad. Quadruple compressed dirt. But where are we? Octuple compressed cobblestone. Now, off the top of my head, I think that's about 8 million cobblestone. So I'm probably going to want to start building a whole load of igneous extruders. <laughs> build a huge array of them and get that one running so yeah anyway what do we get a greater reward bag and two hearts bang and let's have a look what we got here uh, potion flask what do we get more fire resistance join your other one so at least I can go swimming in lava whenever I feel like it uh, I could probably actually do with building a potion of regen at some point in the blood alchemy but that's uh that is another thing so today my plan is to get down this steelworks route let me just uh get rid of those put that out of the way and i thought that i would build it down here going up through there the um the steelwork blocks so what do we need to do to get that now here we go open so we need to go this one high oven hijinks so we need a high oven controller a scorched drain scorched bricks and a scorched duct okay so to get that one we need a high oven controller one of them please gonna be a pain for doing that a scorched drain we definitely need one of those uh, scorched bricks that's pretty straightforward that's that one uh, was it a scorched duct wasn't it oh easy we'll just we'll do that the manual way and that should do that so uh, do I use that for anything mm -hmm. I can make it anyway I know I can so we'll go with that because it'll just save me or oh, how will it have I got enough anyway uh, we'll go with the graveyard soil 
so that gives us where where are we a quarter heart yay and uh, a good reward bag chicken jerky oh ah uh, ha 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 I know all about this one mine factory reloaded fishing rod do not ever use that it explodes on you <laughs> from what I've certainly read on forums and uh, they read it anyway so yeah don't use that okay so we are going to want to build this high oven and so we need it's a three by three uh, what did it say we needed? High oven controller, scorched drain, scorched duct, faucet. Now I think that's a standard faucet, so it's fine. Uh, now I know this picture, you have to make it at least four high uh, for it to work. It won't smelt steel if you make it three high, from what I've read. It doesn't get the temperature. So let's... Uh, what have we got? Four, five, that's not enough by a long shot. Let's just do that. That gives me a start. So, bonk. And we will start off as we mean to go on. One, two, three, one, two. Now I need, let's have a look. Scorch duct. I'll put the controller in the middle. We'll have you out. Uh, duct or drain? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'll stick both in. When you don't know, just stick both in. I'm sure someone will tell me that I've done it wrong. And... Oh, uh, right, we need to... where are we? Have that lot out. In fact, I suppose I'd better just make sure that... I don't think it matters, but we'll... So that's one high. So, what we can do oh, then is... That's nearly too, nearly too high. Funk. Am I going to need more? Well, that's actually three high, isn't it? Including that. That will make it four high. Seven. Just make it five high for now. I think you can take it up to eight high before it loses any functionality so we'll just go with five so that has got everything going on there uh, we need a lever a lever thank you very much now have I got any scorched bricks left Got plenty of those, but they're the wrong kind. Uh, doubt it being there. Not a problem. I'm just going to go and I'm going to quickly run off. What are you stuffed with? Hmm. That is stuffed with something, and I don't know what. Right, well, I'm going to make the um, the faucet and the bits and pieces we need. I also need, while I think about it, some charcoal. So we'll go and borrow a couple of stacks of that and cook that up while we're working. And I will be right back. Okay, uh, all right. I have decided, you'll notice, if you can't guess what all this lot's for, you'll notice that I decided that I want to complete this damn quest <laughs> um, so 
I need to make the liquid crafter and the cyclic assembler. I've pulled everything together, I believe, that I need to make those. Um, nothing too complicated. Except, of course, that that's got individual items. So it fails to autofill. <laughs> Damn thing. God damn you. Right, okay, and that should be that. So, we'll take bag number three. And I'm going to claim that reward. Now, importantly, what this does is opens up all of these. So, for example, redstone, I need 500,000... Sorry, 50,000 destabilized redstone. Um, shouldn't be a problem, now I've got the redstone farm going, so if I don't get that done this episode, what we will do is for the next episode, is we will get this automatically being liquefied and yada yada. Right, let me get rid of these uh, heart. You can go in there, along with those, and that ready for when I want to do some ME, and that is a greater bag. Mm, Amrith is actually nice, so yeah, it's not brilliant. But we'll stick that in there for now. Right, next thing's next. This beastie is thing I built the casting basin for it, and need to put on that. Now I believe this is an input so I think we can well multiple ones of these in so I can pick I want the fuel um, and they correspond basically to these so if I make some more of these I can automate the pumping of this wee bugger we need a switch and it needs some fuel which I have smelted up here got a stack and a bit of charcoal that's not going to be a problem so we'll whack that in uh, helps if you get that in there and turn it on and we want this to start heating before we start faffing around sticking bits of metal in there and if we consult the book what we need to do to make the steel is we need gunpowder redstone and two parts sand uh, and iron so basically 64 32 32 with uh, 32 iron will make th should make 32 steel, and 32 steel happens to be enough to make things. So if I go and grab some gunny powder, plenty over here. Uh, we'll take that, take a full stack. Uh, sand was the other thing it wanted. Now have I got any? Well, how are you doing up there? Sand. Yeah, I've got plenty of sand. Uh, iron is the other bit. And then we can start making steel. And with a bit of luck, we can bottom out that quest to make. There we go. Some iron. That was iron, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that moment where you think, did I just pick up the wrong thing? Now, importantly, now we've got this beastie, we can. Can I? Put 32 of those in there, 32, oh god what was it, bonk bonk bonk, gunpowder redstone and sand, okay, 32 gunpowder, 32 redstone, 64 sand, and then we're going to have to do the long, long wait for this to reach temperature which I believe is about 2,000 degrees, so this is going to take a while. Um, now, in the meantime, is there anything we can be playing with outside of the uh, hoofa doofa? What's my jig? Thing of a bob. Well, there was one thing I wanted to uh, have a look at, and that is um, this beastie. The quest delivery system so basically we need to if we make these we can actually start pushing quests directly into the system 
So I need a book and some string to make those. Okay, that's all doable. Let me just run up here. And string book book. I'm sure I put two books in here. You're probably screaming at me going it's directly in front of you. No, I didn't put two books in. Ignore me. I need two of those and those three. Oh, and I need a, a second string. Bonk, bonk. Funk. Funk. That gives me the book. That gives me the string. That gives me that. Bit of glass. And a bit of wood. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we should be uh, good to make this one. Bang. Job. Oh, oh God. Job is. Oh, and it didn't use the book up. Okay. We'll stick you out of the way then. That's interesting to know. I thought it used it up. Right, now I'm going to want to go and grab a uh, item duct. Have I not got a pneumatic serve? Oh, I think I've got one in my gold bag I have. Good, good. And I'm going to need two. Oh, I need my dolly. A little bit sissy saying I need my dolly, but there you go. How's that going for temperature? 570. Uh, Going to be a while yet. So I want to start this lettuce quest off um, pretty imminently. So let me grab a lettuce for starters and grab my dolly. And we're going to pick that up and plop it there for now. I'm going to pick that up, plop it there, pick that up, plop it there. Now, this the reason for this will become apparent. Stick a servo in that, and I want to whitelist lettuce. And then if I get my dolly again and go bonk and stick that there, I can put my QDS down. And that is now set to accept lettuce. I can go into here, go Hell's Kitchen, open that, select task, and right click on there. It all seems a little bit long winded, but there you go. We should be seeing that that should be accepting lettuce. Hopefully, this hasn't. Oh, I'm going to have to make myself ill aren't I if I go here I don't think it's stuffed and then finally oh, not that grab that we'll stick that here we'll whack in an item duct there stick a servo in there output it and turn it on and that should start with the counting of the lettuces yep three eight going in there steadily now I'm going to be a long way off complete with this but um, at least once this is emptied I can take this pipe out and that will just fill directly from the harvester got lettuces in the main garden so that's not a problem for food but it does mean we can automate this and just forget about it until it's ready right I'm guessing that that furnace isn't up to temperature so I'm going to uh, let's have a look eight 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 yeah I'm going to let this run for a while and I will be back as soon as we've got something to look at okay um, it's up to temperature this is now smelting fairly quickly and we have got one ingot woohoo 
but these are going fairly fast now and if I remember correctly we just oh we get a steel block that's right yeah I think you just use a casting table just to get ingots but that's all right not a problem I think I'm going to do a stack of steel anyway so we'll um, we'll let that run we got a little bit more there already so um, I'm going to let this run for a while and I will be back once we've smelted 64 iron into steel. Okay, while well, we're uh, just waiting there, I think I've got enough steel down there, but I've put another um, QDS in here and transferred all the wood over. So that is now showing at 4% complete, 4,333 wood out of 100,000. Uh, they might have been a little, the air a little bit sneaked through, but I think we can survive nine. Um, I did want to show you this, um, which this made me laugh. Remember I got these protection things from a quest reward, and I'm not wearing them because, you know, apart from that one occasion where I didn't light up correctly, I wasn't too desperate, but this one, just look at the flavour text on the boots. Greggy, Greg, do please kindly stuff a sock in it. Not putting too much emphasis on that, but that s that smacks suspiciously of jaded uh, having a little dig at old Greg from Greg Tech. <laughs> uh, okay, now the other thing is this this stuffed thing. The reason is these that one's full. So what I have done is I have crafted uh, some level 1 upgrades, level 2 upgrades and void upgrades because I don't there's only so much storage of uh, so much so much gunpowder and things you need so I want to I don't think these are going to be major problems so I want to basically upgrade those with that then upgrade them with that and then upgrade them with the void that is immediately unstuffed and hopefully we should start seeing this go down so that was a fairly straightforward issue the lettuce quest is let me just jump out of here and look at the lettuce that's also four percent complete 2313 lettuces out of 50,000 so We'll keep our eye on those. I don't expect them to finish any time soon. Right, so the last thing I want to do. Here we've got 46, so let me get four blocks of steel for the time being. And belch a little bit. So while this is casting, the other thing is it's, um, there was a request for me to put this world download up. So this will be available on my WordPress blog. Um, URL will be in the description and I'll update it every so often. Um, I'm not going to commit to a firm weekly upgrade update thing or episodely update because some episodes will be busier than others. Um, but now we've got the steel we can start working on the big reactors um, and that's probably going to be the subject of my next episode. I'll be smelting steel like a boss and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some big reactor work done and get the f final piece of the power generation in and then we can start looking at some really high-tech solutions some of the ME, uh, AE stuff and uh, various bits and pieces but let me just get 36 so there was a qu the quest called for me to turn in a full set of steel armor I'm fairly certain that was it hopefully it's not anything maybe it wants tools as well who knows let's have a look steel power bang done claim reward so we've only got the deep tank controller to do um, I'm not sure entirely what what in, I'm not entirely sure if I can get my words around what is involved with that let's just have a quick peek deep tank control 
really that easy. Right, have I got eight of those bricks left? No, I've got one. I need to make seven then, that's pretty straightforward. Um, we'll make them on camera because they're so, they're so damned easy. It's uh, things, uh, I don't know really, so I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who do 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 do? Cook that for me, please, Mr. Furnace. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cobble. We'll stick that in the smeltery. Um, I could do it in the other one, but obviously that is currently engaged. Take the mould back and just go and grab those bricks. And then we can get that one done and dusted. And that is another two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Do, do, do. Knocking the quest down today. <laughs> So, we're just waiting for that to smell. In the meantime, let me have a look. we got a oh, basic. You're having a giraffe. Oh, that lot again. Movie decor award. Well, that's going to be a few moments. Let me go and empty my inventory. Um, so, what else? Anything? Oh, uh, that, 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 that. That. Okay, let me get rid of that. Stick you out of the way. Anything else? No, we're good. So we're just going to make these bricks and we can not land that one. Uh, let me just munch. Throws me out having that book on my. Uh, there we go, that should be 56 millibuckets, so. Making these is pretty straightforward. It's just pour eight millibuckets of seared stone over a brick. Real high tech stuff. <laughs> of course, when you're making 64 of these, it's, it's not quite so entertaining. When you're making two stacks in a bit, definitely not so quite so entertaining. But, you know, there we go. Uh, last one. Okay, and grab that one to make my eighth, and don't know whether we'll actually ever use this, whether I'll get into the deep tank, but um, we might as well get the, unless of course it decides it wants, it wants us to do some more. Deep tank controller, if it's one of these then we'll finish it off another time. Claim the reward. So now we're in town this way. We need to do some graphite bars and eulorium dust. These are dead easy. So we'll grab those uh, next time. And what do we get? A good reward bag. Bet it's not. Oh, it is. I let it off. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Um, world download, as I say, will be up on the... Uh, on the WordPress blog, and oh, let me just put that and that away, stick you out of the way. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we can turn that off for now and just pour out those remaining. Oh, there's a little bit of iron stuck in there, must have run out of sand. Oh, well, we'll sort that next time. Okay, so thanks for watching and Bye for now.